Welcome back everyone. We just finished reading Under the Sea and it was talking about a coral reef. And so um, today we're going to make our own Under the Sea coral reef picture. And it's going to be a crayon resist painting. And you're going, well, that, what is that? And so it's going to be, here's my coral reef under the sea crayon resist painting. And what I did was I drew some, some seaweed, some coral, a sea anemone, a clownfish, this beautiful fish, and some other little fish. And so you're going to be trying to decide what you want in your picture. And the important part here is that we're going to be using crayons and we're also going to be painting. So we're going to start with a piece of white um, cardstock. This is a heavier piece of paper, something heavier than construction paper because you are going to be painting on it with a, a water wash. And if it was construction paper, it would fall apart pretty easily. So before we start, we're going to think about, well, we saw in the book some of the things that are down under the ocean. And so I brought some other pictures that you could see things that are down under the water. And this one happens to be an actual coral reef. And we have um, someone who is scuba diving and looking at the coral reef. And then here's a picture of a very fancy seahorse. Here is um, some clownfish hiding in an enemy, and you can see very, very colorful, bright colors. And look at this sea creature. This is a type of a, um, a sea slug. Wow, that doesn't look like the slugs in my backyard. And then here's some other creatures that live down in the um, ocean. Very colorful, very strange looking. And these ones, the colors aren't as, it's a black and white, but these are also very interesting creatures that live down in the water. So, you're going to say, but Miss Mary, I can't draw fish. I can't draw octopuses. I can't draw jellyfish. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm going to show you some really simple, easy ways that you can start making your fish and your octopuses and your jellyfish. It's very easy. What you want to do is just start out with your basic shape for your octopus and your jellyfish. If you can make a U and turn it upside down, you can make a jellyfish or a, um, an octopus. So by that I mean you're just doing this. It also looks like an upside down smile. So for your octopus, I mean for your jellyfish, you just do that. And then you add the tentacles. See how easy that is? Now you can make a jellyfish. Now for an octopus, it's along the same line. Draw a fancy U. And then remember, you have to make eight legs. So you continue down. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have your octopus. It's very easy. And it, of course, it doesn't look, you know, like the professional pictures, but that's okay. This is your drawing. And so then you go, well, how do you do a fish? Well, the easiest way to do a fish, you start out and you make 
kind of like an almond shape. And then you add a tail. And then you put in some fins. You put in the eyeball, a little mouth, and a little gill part. So then you can start getting fancy. That's your basic sh fish. Then you can get fancy and add lines for your fins and your tail fins and do lines or spots or dots for your fish. And there you have a fish. See how easy that can be? Now you know how to draw three creatures for your paper. So <clears throat> this took me a little while to color. So I started one for you and I have the beginning of my um, clownfish. And remember the clownfish, they're the only fish that can go in the anemones, which are poisonous to other sea creatures. And that, but the clownfish doesn't get stung by the sea anemone. They're friends. So we're going to just really quickly make this, the anemone. And by that, I'm just, I'm choosing uh, like a violet red crayon. And if you see, all I'm gonna do is be drawing little lines like this. Let me move this over. I'm just going to do this coming up from the bottom. You want a fatter down at the bottom and it just whirls and swirls and dances in the sea. And you're going, but we have to make this whole thing blue for the water? No, that's what is going to be the fast part that I'm going to show you. But first you want to get in everything that you're going to put for with your crayon. So I have that and maybe I, I'll put something up here. Hmm, what should I put up there? I'm going to put in some seaweed. And you want to press hard with your crayon. Put in some sand at the bottom. I'll make a little jellyfish. The jellyfish I'm just going to do really lightly because a lot of them you can kind of see almost through them. And so now here is my picture. This is my coral reef. And so you're still saying, but Miss Mary, it's not in the water. Where's the water? So I'm not going to use very much water. I just have a little water and a little blue food dye. I'm going to drop some drops in here. And you don't need very much water at all because it's not going to take much to cover this. And I am going to put this waterproof thing underneath 
my cover, I mean my paper. I'm going to stir this. And then anywhere that I colored, it's not going to turn blue. The water goes on, but it doesn't stick to the wax that the crayons are made from. It, the water, the crayon repels the wax. So if you're starting like this and you're saying, well, it's not very blue. You wanted it a little bluer. All you would do is add some more. This is why you don't want to add, you don't want to have too much water because you're only going to use a very, very little bit of water for the whole picture. And anywhere that you had colored stays the color and anywhere that was white that didn't have the crayons on it that's your ocean water and then you just let it dry and you have a beautiful under the ocean coral reef picture. Thanks.